What's going on, Shelter? Good morning to you guys. This is your morning devotional. We are starting a new series called Like a Child. I think you're going to like it. Let's open it up. What's going on, Shelter family? Good morning. We are into a new series. I hope that you loved the series on freedom, the celebration of freedom that we did a couple weeks ago. Now we're going to dive headfirst on a thought that's really been um, something really deep in my heart. You know, uh, right now in our country, there is um, there's so much posturing going around. There's so much. Um, there's an idea of, of trying to always figure out who's the loudest in the room, who's the strongest, um, how they can present themselves and be the most impacting. And so I, we've come up with this idea to really um, show the character of Christ in a different way. Something for you to meditate on every single morning as you go, as we bring you back to really what I believe and I've always believed the heart of Christ is. There's this really cool example that Jesus gave in Matthew chapter 18, where he had a few of his disciples um, kind of having a spitting match. Someone wanting to really define who would be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And this is kind of where it took off here in Matthew chapter 18. It says this, At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who then is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a little child to him and placed the child among them. And he said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. Wow, that is the exact opposite of what we see right now in 2020 in America. It's the exact opposite that I feel like many of us are falling into in 2020, even in our own Christian circles. There's this weird undercurrent right now of who can be the greatest, who can be the loudest, and who can say a statement that can get the most likes or most surprises. What an opposite thing. So what Jesus says, he says, hey, let me, let me bring somebody who hasn't been in the world very much. Let me bring a child to you. And so for the next couple of weeks, we're going to talk about some attributes of children that I think Jesus is talking about when he's talking about this in Matthew 18. And for me today, I just wanted to hearken you back to the way a child thinks, right? You know, children are, are innocent, right? They are beautiful, trusting souls. But their thought processes are so different um, from the jaded thoughts of an adult. They're innocent. They're, they're ready to explore the world. I wrote a few of these thoughts down, you know. You know, the first thing that I think about when I think of a child is someone that doesn't worry about what others think about. They're not concerned about anybody other than who's in front of them. They're free. They're not playing politics. They're just being genuine. Another thing about a child is that they love to have their minds wander. The imagination of a child. When Jesus brings this child here, he's bringing a child who hasn't seen the world and have all these prejudgments. They love to let their imagination go. Another thing a child does is when they say something, they tend to mean it. They don't got a bunch of strings attached or worried about playing politics. They say what they mean and they mean what they say. Another thing a child does is a child's it's pretty decisive, right? Like my little guy, man, you don't have to think twice about something. He's just ready to go all in with both feet. How many of you wish that we had faith like a child? Or we just jump into what God's asking us to do. I think one of the other things about a child that I love is that, you know, a child doesn't hold a grudge. That is something that I think all of us can ponder. How many of us are in prison to what someone's done years before? We're still living in the mindset of that unforgiveness. A child doesn't hold a grudge. So over these next few weeks, I want you to ponder what Jesus meant when he said, hey, if you become like a child, you become the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. I know for me, that requires me to do what Jesus said here. And he called a little child to him, placed them among them, and he said, truly I tell you, unless you change. Today, at the start of your day, you get to change. 
You get to change your mindsets. For some of us, we need to go back to what it's like to be free and careless and have faith that is unguarded, unreserved, and not filled with regret. That's what I challenge you to today. Be like a child. I love you guys. See you tomorrow. Oh,